Okay, so we've got like a little icon that's popped up down here. So I'll explain the menu down here first. So this is how much money you've got. Generally, um, this is your reputation, the dates in game. Um, you've got here, which is the rooms that you build. You've got finishing your corridors, which is things like adding the benches, drinks machines, radiators, stuff like that. This is when you want to edit a room or any of the items in a room. And this is where you hire staff. So that's kind of like the, the permanent menu. Then you've also got this here, which is like staff management. So this is like having a look at your staff. You can sack them, give them pay rises, that kind of thing there. This is a map of the area. So this is the building. The little red splodges are like where the radiators are. So you can see how warm it is and you can like just increase like how effective they are there, like how much heat they're pumping out. Um, and then this is like all the stuff that you've discovered, all the stuff that you can cure. Um, this is your research. It doesn't open anything right now because I don't have any research facility. It's right at the beginning of the game. Um, you can get like stats and charts by here as well. And then just like hospital policy. Um, yeah, but I won't go too much into that for the moment. We need to get more room rooms built since we've got patients starting to arrive. So actually, before I do that, I do want to stick a drinks machine in because they will like moan and wine otherwise. So what I need to do, facilities, I really need toilets in there because some people are going to be coming in with the squits <laughs> and we really don't want those people to be lingering around too long. So I'm going to make it about that big because I'm going to have rooms coming out this way as well and I want to allow you know space for like seats and stuff like that. In fact, no, I will put it back there. I'm going to put a door here because I'm going to have like benches and a little sort of seating area over here. Okay. I'm just going to stick that down. It's going to be a small toilet. So you find that at least at this stage you don't need a lot of toilets. I have another two toilets and a sink. I'll stick a sink in between there. There we go. Um, I generally don't usually put the, the standard ones in there. But I will stick a radiator in and a bin. Because otherwise they do moan. There we go. Okay, so that's the toilets. Oh yeah, that's what I haven't hired yet. I haven't hired any maintenance staff. Now this guy's got like no skills, so um, and they says he's a liability, so we really want him. Um, this guy's got loads of skill; he's going to be amazing. Okay, right, let's have a look. So, so that's the toilets done. Um, we've also got some messages popping up down here, which I never got to before. So we'll click on the first one. It opens up in a little window. Um, it says your team has discovered a new condition. It's heaped piles. Awesome. Um, so you don't really need to pay attention to the cause and the symptoms unless you want to particularly read them. Um, yeah, basically it's like a pharmaceutical cure, so that's cool. So that's a nurse in a pharmacy. Um, bloaty head, also. Great stuff. And um, this one is, right, so your team has discovered a new condition, it's bloaty head. You must build an inflation to be able to deal with this. What do you want to do with this patient? Well, actually, um, I'm going to get the patient to wait in hospital for a while because I'm about to build an inflation room. So... I can do that straight away. Um, clinics, inflation, we'll stick it there. There you go. There's only one piece of equipment for that one and then just the four that I normally add as well. There we go, and that's that one then. So he can be treated now. So as I said, I want to stick a load of benches down. So I'm going to get like 12 loads of benches. I'm going to put them here. If you decide that's enough, you can just, um, I think you can just cancel. Oh, no, actually, I need to put some around here anyway, so I'll just use these. There we go. Perfect. Okay, right, that's cool. So, next, let's see what other buildings I've got to build. So, treatment, psychiatric, ward, pharmacy. I'm not worried about a ward because it's it's kind of early stages yet. Um, inflation, facilities, staff room. I need to build a staff room for these guys. So, I'm not sure if there's room. I'm going to see if there's room to build it down here. There it is. Cool. I can just stick it down here, out the way, and it doesn't take up any of like proper room. It's just like down in a corner, and you get like sofas and stuff to put in there. It's like if you click on the cash register again, you got sofas, you got pool table, TV. So I'm gonna get another couple of sofas. I'm gonna get a TV and then fire extinguisher, radiator, plant. There's no bin for them, so they're not messy. They're good doctors. There, stick the TV there, radiator, plants, lovely. Yeah, great stuff. So now they've got somewhere to chill out as well. 
I want to hire another nurse because I've only got one. So if ever she's taking a break, there's not going to be anyone to, you know, make the patients better. So let's just have a look. Arrogant and cocky. No thanks. Lazy and badly motivated. A hard and train wrecker. But very friendly and enjoys a laugh. She's quite skilled as well. Oh, this one's really good. Dedicate to helping people with a smile. She's super skilled, so we'll have her. Okay. So, so far so good. What I'm going to do is have a little look at the map and I want to have a look to see kind of if it's warm enough for everyone. So we'll have a look at the map. So yeah, of course over here it's not going to be warm enough because we haven't really got anything going on. This is probably going to be a cool spot which is where all the seats are. So I may try and stick a radiator here, but I doubt I'm going to be able to because it'll be in the way. So let's just get one radiator. You can stick them freestanding around the place like that, but I don't really like to do that because it's not very neat. I'll stick it here, and I'll we'll have a look. Yeah, we'll see how it goes, we'll see how it goes. We'll see if they keep sort of complaining and whining. But for the moment, they seem happy enough. Okay, so my options now are to sort of just, just keep things going here, but I'd like, I'd like to build a ward. I've got the room for a ward, and it does help with diagnosing people. Oh, look, we've got an emergency coming in. That's what this little icon is. No, it's not. <laughs> I'm mistaken. Um, come on, I'm working like a dog here. Give me a bonus of 15 and I'll stay in your hospital. This does happen sometimes. They get really cocky and think that like, the bee's knees and they're like, give me a raise. And generally, they'll just keep coming back and saying, give me a raise, give me a raise, give me a raise. I don't mind doing it now and then, um, but you can just choose to fire them if that's the case. So if he keeps saying, if he keeps coming up, I'll just sack him and get someone else. So... It's irritating. I had it like yesterday and it was a psychiatrist and I only had one and I was like, you're in the middle of treating patients, you know, it's, I couldn't just sack him. So I had to wait until another one came up in like the staff list so that I could hire another one. Um, but yeah, that was kind of irritating. But um, Okay, as for other buildings, so we've got uh, toilets, we've got a staff room, clinics, we have an inflation clinic. Uh, treatment, psychiatric, we've got pharmacy, we've got, we don't have a ward yet, GP's office, general diagnosis, psychiatric, yeah, let's build a ward, let's stick a ward in, let's stick it in over here, there we go, make it nice and neat to there, you're going to have massive doors for it, big double doors, so we'll stick them, let's stick them down here, I can put like seats down the side then, and you get some beds, Put the beds here. We're not going to need many beds because it's going to be a pretty small ward because we're just starting out so we don't need a lot. So I'll get another two beds, bin, plant, radiator and a fire extinguisher. Okay so there and there. And then we'll stick a radiator there, plants, where can we see a plant? There, lovely. I'll we'll stick a bin by the door. Oh yeah and the fire extinguisher there. Great stuff, so now we have a ward as well. We currently have two nurses, which is good because it'll be a nurse that minds a ward, as they do in real life. Um, and then we've got one for the pharmacy as well. So I may hire another one soon, so we've got another one for backup. Okay, so we've discovered a new condition, and it's TV personalities. <laughs> Cause daytime television, symptoms, delusions of being able to present a cookery show. Oh, and it's gone. <laughs> so looks like you only get a limited time to, to look at it, which I've never noticed, but then I've never actually read it out loud before. So. So, so far it's all going well. I'm actually really liking my layout. Normally I put a layout down and I don't like it at all, but I'm quite happy with this. What you can do, if you want to make sure people aren't waiting too long, you can just kind of click on a door and it'll tell you how many people are waiting. So you can see this is quite a lot. You've got one, two, three, four, five people waiting there. And you've got a GP's office here with two people waiting. But there's no doctor in there. So it's because there's a doctor there so I think all the doctors are busy and there's one that's resting which is fair enough you need a break so what I'm going to do is hire another one because clearly I don't have quite enough doctors um, oh that guy's really badly skilled there we go this guy let's stick him in there and he can start getting those cues down um, I may stick another GP's office in but I think we're, we're kind of coping alright for the moment he's down to just three now and he's only got one so there's only four people waiting so that's not so bad have a look. General diagnosis, none. Psychiatrist, none. What about pharmacy? This is something I always forget to kind of check, is pharmacy. They often have loads of people waiting, um, and that's where people generally die. They'll die sort of waiting to see, or, or taking the wrong drug, because sometimes they'll take the drug and it just kills them. <laughs> it's just one of those things. So, luckily it's not so much like that in real life, well I suppose that happens a bit, but 